All right, the uh, principle called agency and the great indifference. This has two parts. Agency is des described as the anything in the universe that is alive or, or the artifacts of those things that are alive. These would be the artifacts of agency. So a, uh, a tin can I might find out in the desert, deep in the desert, or a mylar balloon that floated out there and dropped from some party in Los Angeles. These would be, even though there's no humans about, these would be artifacts of agency, reminders of my species, reminders of my fellows. A plant found in the desert, or a cricket that we can hear chirping, a frog, the sight of a bird, anything like this. These are agents, you know, or artifacts of agents. A dead twig would be an artifact of agency. I make careful distinction of that, of all the different ways that agency can be um, anticipated, a light in the distance. Uh, from the wilderness. If when I would be hiking deep in the desert, um, there were only two lights that were really ever visible, um, besides the periodic train passing down below in the, the valley below, near Siberia ghost town. Uh, I could hear, hear the whistle of the train, the horn of the train, the bell of the train sometimes, but of course the loud uh, diesel electric locomotives engines, uh, or diesel engines going, um, but I could also see the lights from the train. If it was a uh, passenger train, I could see the light emanating from the cars, and uh, it would uh, remind me so distinctly of the warmth and humanity within. Once in a while, I could see uh, headlights passing a little further off on Route 66. And there were two red lights atop the mountains in the Boolean Mountains to the south. Those are the artifacts of agency. Now, I make careful distinction of how those can be encountered because my point is that if you can get far enough removed from all agency or even the artifacts of agency, the reminders of our kind, the reminders of life, and you can get far enough into what I call like a moonscape desert, far enough up into the Bristol Mountains um, to the north of Siberia ghost town, up there where the uh, Sandman's bed is, the, the wasteland where the Sandman's bed or a little bit higher up in the Rhyolite or Granitic Peaks. You can get to an area where there are no signs of life. Very few at least. Maybe a little scrub of grass here and there. But no, certainly, certainly no animals to see. Um, no, uh, very few plants. No sign of humanity, especially if you can get up and over the edge of deep water. You can't uh, hear the whistle of the train but very distinctly, only from time to time. If you get in the right place and it echoes through the Mount Desert, you might hear it. Certainly can't hear any uh, the sounds of cars going by on Route 66. All that goes away. Even At times, even the sound of airplanes above is gone. At night, you can still see an occasional satellite or a plane go overhead. And um, far enough in, it's like walking on the moon. That is when I can more clearly apprehend sense. It's a funny thing to sense nothing. Sense the absence, the vacuum-like absence of agency. No humans, no desert animals, no very few plants, no echoes of train horns or the sound of cars you know, roaring across Route 66 or the roar of jets above or the blinking red lights on the uh, Boolean Mountains. And then I realize that I'm alone in a vast, empty desert, in a vast, empty earth, in a vast, empty solar system upon within a galaxy and then galactic cluster and then universe at large. No agency superseding seemingly over it all. No God. I'm alone. This is the sensation that I call perceiving an emptiness that I call the great indifference. It's a sober recognition and realization, startling and rather earth-shaking, actually, for someone to, to encounter. The first time I truly in, apprehended it, I was rather shaken to my 
poor. And I, I ran from that site that was up on the volcano wilderness. That's one summit peak above Gasco Road, in a different part of the desert. And I ran from it and came back a month later to see it again. And then to uh, begin to formulate my thinking regarding this. This was the, the boon of going alone. This is the reward. This was the prize of that endeavor, going deep into the desert alone. To discover nothing and to then utilize that discovery, that recognition as the uh, cornerstone of a creed that I would develop that would send me back to my fellows armed with the awareness that I'm alone and choosing instead of despair to build a life of purpose and meaning contrived though it may be in the face of the uh, vast emptiness that's all around and the vast eternity of nothingness to come after life is complete. Thus is the great indifference in contrast to the agency that is us.